Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Yokes Cast. I am the host this time once again, uh, Lord Pasta. I am joined today by John Z. Say hi. Hello. Just Rez. Say hi. Hey. And Saplo. Say hi. What's up? Now, as is customary on the Yokes Cast, we'll ask each person how their week was, starting with John Z. How was your week, John Z? My week's been pretty good, honestly. Ain't even gonna lie. What about Rez? My week's, my week's been pretty good. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what else was I saying? Uh, Your week work hasn't good. been as stressful, so I had a really chill work week, IRL. Um, the presidential election is not happening, and we still don't know who won yet, so that's fun. So... And we're going to be hearing about that for the next couple of days. Uh, also, the one that's 17 snapshots just released to earlier today. And that's also interesting. So, <clears throat> good times. Um, playing on Drip, as usual. And uh, I don't know why I still keep playing on this trash server. I hate life. <laughs> and besides that, it's just watching YouTube videos, watching streams. I'm having a good time, not really, because I hate life, and that's basically what my week's been. Alrighty, yeah. Uh, my week has been um, pretty okay, uh, except for the last day, uh, because, yeah, the the election. I don't think anybody can really say they're enjoying the election. Yeah, um, I don't know, I'm having fun, but it's kind of like... Even though I'm probably gonna win, um, my bet. Really <laughs> Even though win. I'm gonna win, I I picked because I knew I would win, but I just, I just, I just, it didn't. Re I wanted to not hear about Donald Trump for like it's now he's I just he's gonna be in the news again, and and I I was so we were so close to not have hearing about him for like a, we were a long so time. close for greatness. Yeah, I mean this is so literally. This is literally the worst case scenario. Like, Trump's going to try and take it to court. And then when the court says, no, fuck you, he's going to get pissed off. And people are probably going to try and kill people. So, I don't know. If he wins? No, he's no. not. He's going to lose. But he's going to dispute that. Yeah, and because how, it... considering how close it is right now, he's going to oh, be like, okay. like, there could be some meddling. Um, me I can't even say the word. In, meddling like, with the votes, votes, yeah. Yes. He's yeah, gonna he, probably make up that case, which is gonna suck, and it's gonna cause us to be yeah, dealing like, with this for like. Did that happen with Bush? Uh, or uh, against I, that, that guy who did that documentary about um, global climate change. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that was that was different because there they were trying to count votes. Here, Trump's gonna be like, "No, don't count votes. Fuck the votes. Mm. They they're not real. They're not real votes." <laughs> That's what he's gonna say. Yeah, well, they're gonna mm. say kept recounting the votes, and then one, and then until the guy forfeited just because he didn't want to waste pa taxpayers' money or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, All I know is this not a good sign. Okay. Besides that, anything else interesting has happened this week, Apple? Uh, for me, uh, while well, I played on Drip for a bit, uh, with a friend of mine, we we got to like half diamond kind of game got killed again and we're just like oh man the server's so fun when you're winning and it sucks so bad when you're losing yeah i can feel your pain 110 um, percent yeah i've been working on some videos not for my main channel or anything but i've been trying to think of what i should upload on there and trying to get a motivation so like i don't know what's up with me right now but i do not i do not want to do anything <laughs> it's like i don't have to so i just won't <laughs> uh, but yeah like i don't know because it's like I, I've been trying to get myself to work on some videos, but obviously my heart's not in it, so I gotta find something else I want to make um, soon. Cause I'm kind of getting bored. I literally wasted an entire day yesterday. I was like, I'll do something today, and instead I just talked in a voice call for like five hours straight. It was awful. Oh yeah. I had fun. I just it was like it was like the kind of thing where at the end of the night, you're like it's too late for me to stay up and actually do something, and it's. <laughs> And I, and I haven't done anything, so I just feel bad about myself, even though I enjoyed the time that I wasn't doing anything. But I, I felt like I should have done something. Felt like you should have contributed in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. It's just, just anything. I, I didn't do anything. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I wasted my life. I know. I mean, I like got 
I have I definitely have an addiction to the internet that I need to I need to like quit Discord permanently and <laughs> stop watching YouTube videos and basically abandon the internet. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, Who will we have consistently? Who will we have on the podcast then? Oh no no, I would be able to, I would join in the co- podcast, you know, or something. But I, oh, yeah. I you would join in on the podcast people. without using Discord. I, no, I would use Discord. I would just not use it any other time. Oh, but okay. That, yeah, so the there's problem. one exception, you know? There's Yeah. The and then, and an then there'll be another exception. Yeah, just, you know, make yeah, a few right, more yeah. exceptions. Yeah. Um, and then I, I know that if I just, if I quit one of the internet things, you know, I'm just going to replace, like, if I stop watching YouTube videos, I'm just going to be, like, scrolling through Twitter twice as much as I normally do, and then probably move on to watching Netflix shows. So I'd have to I have to quit everything, you know. I I managed to quit Twitter all by itself, but that's because Twitter is a terrible platform that once you kind of forget about it, it's really like <laughs> it's really easy to just not go on. Um, but uh, uh, so yeah, I've kind of kicked that. But uh, Discord is a lot harder because like all of my contacts for YouTube are on Discord, so I can't just like quit. Like I can, but it's like I feel like it's almost kind of necessary for me to be on here as like a YouTuber kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. YouTube yeah, watching, though, watching YouTube videos, I could quit that and have no problems. The thing is, I like watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I could not do that. It just sounds impossible. I, I, I did it for like a week once, and that was hard. Actually, maybe it was a month. No, no, I didn't. I didn't quit. I just like limited the amount of time I spent doing it. Hmm. Ultimately, I don't think it really amounts to much because in the end, I was still ended up doing a lot of YouTube, but it was a nice effort. I might try doing that again because that is one giant sinkhole of my time. Uh, yeah. Or maybe just like not do that. Just spend less time on on the computer when I, when I have free time. Just <laughs> find something to do in person, you know? Get a life. All right, I gotta actually go with my do life things. So see you guys. All right, well, thank you for joining us. Farewell, um, good sir. Are you guys ready for the podcast to absolutely fall apart? Especially because Rez yeah. is muted and it's just me and Pasta, and we're gonna have absolutely nothing to talk about. Pasta is gonna start rambling about politics. I'm gonna, you know, probably jump off a bridge. You know, it'll be a jolly good time uh, leading up to that point, though. This is boring as fuck. That is correct. You are you are saying a true statement right there, Pasta. And really, you know, deep down, I feel like the only reason I'm I'm still talking right now is that I'm stalling uh, long enough uh, until like Rez unmutes himself. Like that's the only reason I'm still talking right now because I know yeah. deep down that I actually don't have any commentary or anything like that to bring to the table, and I'm just trying to elongate this sentence as much as possible uh, until you know Rez gets on hint hint if that's ever gonna happen. Uh, but... I mean, there is a lot that's happened, but it's just stuff that you probably think is stupid. Yeah, I don't care about politics. Doesn't matter to me. Um, so Michigan is at 99% reporting and Biden has a over 1% lead. So if they call it, Trump can't call for a recount. Hmm. So, and that, that I don't will think it would him, be that close, honestly. That'll put them at 254. Uh, wait, no, 264 would we'll put them at. Oh, Oh damn! That would All right. Him at two at two sixty four, and then if he wins Nevada, which he's ahead, he's ahead in Nevada, uh, still, but only by eight thousand votes. Um, if he wins that, then he gets to two seventy. Then he wins. Just so you know, but we're no, but, we're uh, doing a podcast salute. So, so Nevada Nevada could flip, or it could get even more. But Trump will probably call a recount there. Who fucking knows? It's only at 74, 75% reporting at this point. Hmm. So that's what we're looking at at the time of recording this. So, yeah. Yeah, so there's some insight right there. Um, Let's look at Nevada itself. Yeah. Let's see. Well, they're all equally unreported, so we don't fucking know. 
With Michigan, there's only one county that's kind of unreported. I think. I don't know. Let me, let me find a better map. Um, take a look at Michigan. So, 95 reporting in Detroit. That's going to go for more Joe Biden. Joe Biden's ahead in Genesee County. And that's only at 78% reporting. So that's going to be more for Joe Biden. Hmm. Uh, Kent County is at 84%. And that's going to go to Donald Trump. Um, and there's Tony, zero it's just a bunch of people. Oh. All right, it just got in the server, left immediately. Um, All right. Antrim County, Michigan is at 0% reporting, so who fucking knows with that? Um, but it looks like there's still going to be a lead in Michigan with Biden. Now, if we go out and we look at Nevada, 100% um, reported uh, is in like a really hard line Trump area. If we go to the ones that are more for Biden, those are a lower percentage reported so, than anything. And he's still ahead in those. I mean, is there even any chance that Trump is going to win? Or... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a chance. Is Nevada, uh, the, is Nevada the main main place where he might get them? The, the votes that he needs well here's the thing uh i'm pretty confident at this point that um michigan is gonna go to biden which is gonna give him 16 electoral votes um which will put him at 264 right that'll put him at 264 um no cram is in here so he would hey, need cram. the six he would need the six electoral votes from Nevada. Uh, oh, it's snapshot. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. In the new yeah. Minecraft snapshot. Oh cool. Uh, were you guys talking about the elections? Uh, well, uh, more pasta was talking, and I was, you know, slightly listening and like understanding, like I don't know, fifty percent of the words. So. There, I think I have the theory like there's insight right the one there. who's going to win is the the old guy accused of pedophile and sexual things. Um, yeah, that's yeah. who's gonna win, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Pasta. We are just getting everybody in here right now. I'm All right, I guess we're good now. I'm Pasta. How many people did you get in here, man? Did someone just link the the Discord somewhere? Yeah, we saved it. We saved Pasta, it. when, when, uh, when, for example, Trump won in Texas, but does Joe Biden get any points from coming second? No. Oh, no. okay. Because that's democracy in America. It's like, the, the electoral the electoral system in America is like so broken. Like, I hate yes. it so much. Yeah. Like it's a really interesting system if you have. No yeah. it's really no. interesting, but it's not democracy. <laughs> it's very interesting, but it's not useful. Like do you know how many people are like getting out of like representation? Like I hate it so much. Yeah, it's, it's like at this point. If you look at the actual votes, um, Biden has a very clear lead in terms of vote count. No, but, but that's for, not for what example, matters. Like, like I hate liberals, you know, but like the Libertarian Party has like one million votes and has zero representation. Like that's like a lot. Like what the fuck? Uh, are... That's that's because. America ain't no democracy. It a republic, bro. It a in republic, bro. Come on. In Estonia, our president gets selected by the parliament. So the parliament just votes? And then... Yeah. 
I think well, so. That's even more fucked up. Yeah. Why? It, in my opinion, it's not because the parliament people know much more about the, the person they are going to vote for. Oh, oh they, they they're, they're the experts. We'll leave all the decision making that yeah. has to do with the country <laughs> we live know, in up to them. Right. You know, with well, their, I, their lobbyists who, who say and, that, know, and big and money and that shit. Sablo, Sablo, are you, are you? I uh, hate you uh, so much, Cram. Cram, I really hate you right now. Why? No, Johnsy doesn't give a fuck about Paul. Oh, Johnsy said I thought that it was Sablo. Okay, sorry. Oh my. F Wait, are are some of you just actually getting mixed up? I don't know at this point. Please, please tell me if you're being for real. Are you just actually getting confused? I mean, I'm not. He sounds very much like John Z. <laughs> like, I knew Jem the other... Like, Jem, of course, the other day was trolling. But sometimes I just... I can't tell if if someone's trolling or if they legitimately why just do, cannot tell the difference. Yeah, why do you find it so bad that people get mixed... With, uh, mixed up? Like... Because it, it annoys me. Again? It's annoying. Because you you're, you're, you're racist. Wow. Sure. How, how is that racist? Because if you're a racist, you are racist. Oh, oh, makes sense. Okay. And that's just my opinion, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> that's just my opinion, man. I don't even think that's an opinion. I think you've just stated that a word is the word. But, uh, yeah. All right, then. Oh, but that's my opinion, you know? Well, <laughs> I'll go with that's my opinion too. Ah, that's also, yeah, we'll have some more opinions, I guess. I, I, I just, I don't know anymore, man. Oh, wait, has anybody checked out the Windows 17 method? Yes, I've been checking it out this it whole time. There are, like, is already, like, the new generation, like, in the... the no, they, they have not implemented that. It's, it's already a little bit... It's not that unstable. It's already kind of unstable, and I feel like if they implement, if they implement it now without fixing whatever's making this un unstable, then the, you just wouldn't be able to run the new snapshots. On wait, like, did they call Michigan? Wait, holy shit! Yeah, Michigan is blue. Now. Oh, that was like do, so we have epic. Michigan. Okay. Well, they're not showing it on Google. Then all CNN, right. CNN is reporting. That Biden wins Michigan. Yeah, Just, uh, like, that's so Michigan. cool. Like, uh, like this morning I was like talking with um, a friend that I said that he's from the state, and he told me like Michigan is is red you now, and I told him like half of Michigan has lost his work for Trump because of Trump. So, like, it will be stupid if he if he won there. And he said, yeah, but like the Michigan are racist or something like that. Oh, okay. But, like, I think that it's gonna have a Biden com epic comeback there, but hit I mean, nah, and yes, because I'm epic. He do be epic, do I? Uh, just Res. Just Res has been muted for, like, a lot of the time. Do we know why? Yeah, he... like, we have enough people. Exactly, now. that is. Is that... Maybe he has people talking in the background and he doesn't want that to disturb the podcast. I don't know. Um, are we recording now? Yes, yeah, we, we are. Oh! So, oh, so in, Hi, case, in case anyone <laughs> accident... This is like the... Oh, the freaking... We got two guests on the podcast. Uh, uh, fuck it. Oh, Why not? Just have this me. be like an open podcast. Yeah. Oh, you want to yeah, get in? Just join the Discord. Screen. Heck, screw it. <laughs> Introduce the guest, he says. Um, we've got Neb and Sal Ut. That is indeed me, Neb. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm really good. Yep, that's... I do the speaking thing so That's well. That's Neb. <laughs> Sure, we're we're really good at this whole like talking and conversation thing that you know we've been doing I for our entire lives. Fine. Like we're really I'm good at that. Really, really good at the speaking thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
the thing where you move your mouth and yeah. the sound comes out, and, and something of value is supposed to come out, but I've not quite hit the point. Yeah, I haven't quite mastered that. Stuff. Yeah. At this Let point, me just I... say that being in this VC makes me want to go to sleep. <laughs> being in this VC makes you want to stay in this VC. Yeah, I just decided, I... okay? I agree. I agree personally, yeah. Pasta. Yeah, what's up? How far is Nevada from uh, from the like winner? Like there's seventy seventy five percent counted right now. Uh, Nevada means s snowy uh, in Spanish. How how many points would Joe or Trump get from Nevada? Uh, six. six, okay, yeah, six, six. Which is yeah. what Joe would need to get two seventy. Mm -hmm. uh, like all, all these people that live like in um, like they're Michigan, like racist. Oh my God. Probably, uh, I'm pretty sure that Joe is going to win Michigan because there's 99% reporting and 16 electoral votes. Yeah, they already called it. It's just not showing on. Them. Oh wait, so Joe won, won Michigan? Yeah. That's just not, it's not showing on the map yet. Oh wow, Pennsylvania gives 20 electoral votes. How, 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 um, how is it like dispersed, like, uh, this, this uh, state gives uh, so many electoral votes? So how this is, is how they disperse it. So in 1776, George Washington came on a map of the U.S., and the more cum that landed in different areas, the more votes. <laughs> That's how it's decided. <laughs> I mean, it would. I mean, yeah, perfectly fair, right? Okay, so it makes more sense. Like the big, uh, uh, big uh, states were like New York, California, and Texas. Give. Uh, it should be based on how many people. Live yeah, it roughly is, but okay. it disproportionately gives representation to uh, rural states, though. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, uh, they, they just Trust just them. remove um, um, Joe's dick. Um, oh, I think that will solve a lot of issues. I agree. Because yes, that's all that they need to do. And quite, well I, I think that would actually solve a lot of issues because he, he would stop <laughs> he would stop going after them like fourteen year olds. <laughs> God damn it. We you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. That's just the desired effect. Yeah, I feel like uh, like California, big cities, and New York uh, people support Biden, and then the people who live in inner states and rural, rural, like in county areas, or like you know, in deserts and in such, uh, they support Trump. Like the that, yeah, that's absolutely people. true. Um, but the thing is, there are less of them than there are people who yeah. live in the city. How does it feel like to live in a to be racist against Mexicans when they live in a state that it's named in Spanish, everything in Spanish? Um, probably not very good. But like, the thing is, like the Florida and 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 Nevada and California and Los Angeles and all of that, that's that's Spanish. Yeah, they stole it from Mexico. From Mexico, yeah. The thing I don't understand is that, like, California cities, as I said before, are really bad right now because there's so much trash and uh, uh, junkies and all that stuff. And, uh, like, Los Angeles is run by leftist, like, people. But people, <laughs> leftist still, people, vote okay. left. people still vote for the... the uh, the uh, Democrats. Yeah, because they're not going to vote for some dumbass racist. It's yeah, like, like, like look at the option. Like, like you can vote for for, for a stupid dude or to uh, or a stupid dude that is ruining the country. Like, who are you going to vote? Like the thing is, like people really don't see how bad like has Trump done to the country. Like so many people have lost their job, like incredible. Yeah, but Trump, like there's also 
saying that Trump also gave a lot of jobs. To no, not true. Maybe he gave a lot of jobs, but all the jobs that they that he gave were like um under the like poverty line. Like you will still be poor if you work at the on those jobs. Yeah. And a lot of people that work at the car industry or in the like all the all the industries that have that had to do with machinery and they need like materials from other countries like they are like fucking like half of them have lost their job and there were like jobs that they used like they work there and they like they needed their jobs to live yeah you know i'm gonna drop a hot take i think less people should have jobs that's it i i, I don't think people should be employed that's my what? that's my hot take what yeah why would you want people to be employed uh in perpetuating the system of capitalism like because because if they don't work the the alternative is to die and i'm just saying it. yeah true but like yeah i mean that's a good point. come on man just starve <laughs> it's that simple just, just one uh, point capitalism <laughs> one yes very good neb <laughs> <laughs> If you oh. want to get rid of it, like, do something, like, that actually makes Oh, it. shit, you, no. <laughs> you do something about it. All right, no, gotta get, gotta get my C4 order. I'm saying, I'm saying it's, it's better to go do something than just starve to death and go, yeah, that really told them. <laughs> no, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, they, they could all become thieves. Uh, and steal <laughs> from the rich. <laughs> That's a good solution. Just become Robin Hood, yeah, man. They could, uh, they could join they my go. my commune, and we could uh, arm ourselves and rise up from yeah. the from the forests. Uh, from the forests. Where are you gathering? Pasta is <laughs> you fucking psychopath, Pasta. I already Seriously. don't want to be here. I already. <laughs> well, you know that makes two of us, Jaytop. I haven't wanted to be here for I don't even know, like twenty minutes now. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Wow. He's gone. We lost him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What a what a tr what a treasure lost. Uh, yeah. My my dad works in the uh, Ministry of uh, Interior, and he said that uh, Trump has ruined a lot of relations with uh, Europe. And he said that like Biden would be like better because does your, uh, does your parent, like is your parent a politician? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, politician, oh. but he works in a. Uh, hey, in like, uh, he works in the. My ass and call me Obama. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, my dad works in the Ministry All of Interior. Right. Oh, that's man. that's cool. Yeah, cool. and so like he. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, so I didn't he, know why that was needed, but whatever. Um, to, uh, I, I think it's so we don't have people just dropping in and, you know, blasting hentai. I'll, I'll, I'll try to that. cut that out without destroying the conversation. So. No, leave it in, man. Seriously? Uh, it was just cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think I told yeah, it was just was fucking just... hentai. Seriously, come on. Yeah, what's the problem? <laughs> I mean, I, in my opinion, Trump wanted to, like, uh, Trump didn't want America to give, give so much away to, uh, like, Europe and other countries. Trump wanted, like, America to focus on America itself. Yeah. Not, like, um, yeah. yeah. Like, he was yeah, a nationalist. Yeah. I'm yeah, against yeah, that. Yeah, only, only that. America. Yeah, we should, <laughs> we should look only to America and only care about America. Oh, but this other but, country has a lot of oil. Oh, I see that. Now yeah, I hear a lot about your civil war. You know? Like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you guys not understand America, this? Come on. America cannot like, really be a nationalist anymore because there's just so... What? They are, no, I mean, they're so big. Like, they have NATO, which is, like, across the world, you know. And there's just... But, okay, okay. Yeah, but you they gotta understand be. this from an American's pr perspective, Sayu. This is the American's perspective. I don't want to bend my knee to them communists in Europe. Fuck them. 
America. Yeah, all those, America. All those socialist countries. Yeah, ooh, very socialist. <laughs> Well, yeah. yeah. Re retardation. All retardation. them foreign speaking Europeans. Like, yeah, hate Europe. Yeah, well, where is Europe? And they can't speak, even put it. Speak on the American. Map. Don't speak communist. <laughs> <laughs> That's an American uh, perspective for you, Sayu. Like, like, the thing is, like, Amer American people don't like. The problem is that they think, like, Estonia is part of Russia. They think that they don't know what Estonia is. That's yeah, probably. yeah, they don't know what it is. Yeah, Amer most of America doesn't know that Estonia exists. <laughs> but if you if you have looked like the the comedy shows where uh, they go on the street with the map of of the world and then ask people like which country is this and that, I mean it's so hard to believe like how dumb people are like. How can you not know that this is like China or South Korea or the... like what? Oh, I, I was about to say I don't know geography, but I know that kind of stuff. Here's it's because they're not thinking about those things. They're thinking about celebrities, uh, gossip, uh, getting drunk, uh, being cool, uh, being a consumer. Hell yeah. You know, that's what Americans are like. They're not thinking about those things that don't matter, like uh, uh, people being killed, uh, politics, and actual real life problems. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why they have been with the same constitution since the since the country was created. Oh yeah, fuck the constitution. We need a new one. What is what is what is real world problems? I just want to consume. Leave me alone. <laughs> If we would say that uh, Trump would win Georgia, North Carolina, uh, Where oh, wait, Pennsylvania as well. Mm. Okay, wait, 20. Uh, okay, Trump still has a chance, to be honest. No, because they have to read like the email thing. Um, and do you think like um, the voters of Trump that they don't actually like believe that COVID exists? They are gonna they are gonna vote by email. I don't think so. Based. Oh wow, pasta! If, uh, Joe probably will win. Oh, uh, yeah, he will probably win the Charlie, are you a Trump supporter? Uh, I like him more than Joe. Mm. Why? Uh, because uh, I agree he's like, I I agree with his views more than Joe's. Um, can you give an example? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I like him more because, first of all, he seems much, uh, much more. Uh, he, he knows how to speak, you know, on the podium. And oh. since, since my opinion is like, I don't really have to be explaining because uh, okay, I'm not yeah. an American citizen. I, I respect so your opinion, like... but let me just say, just last night, he suggested throwing out a, a whole bunch of votes just because he didn't like them okay so yeah i don't think you can say that he's like good at speaking if he's saying bad shit crazy things like that and all right like, <laughs> good at I mean, speaking means like making fun of your of your of people that you don't agree with because i am also good at speaking then uh who who do you uh, support Graham? I really hate both of them. Well, yeah, yeah to be honest, yeah, they're both not really that good. Like, like I am, like, like I'm more I hate, for Biden. I hate like capitalism and shit. So you are making me choose between two dudes that are both in the outright corner. So uh, yeah, there's not really a middle. No, like both of them are in the. In the like, both of them are are right wing, and both of them are are authoritarian. So yeah, 
Mm. Yeah, they're both quote unquote neoliberals. So like I don't I don't know why like Trump is like all the time saying like oh stupid liberals like he's literally a neoliberal like uh yeah but that's he's a neoliberal America. but but applic like but economically you know but then he yeah. does a lot of random shit like uh, I don't know I hate I I really hate that guy I hate both of them I hate Trump more um. I was having a debate the other day with somebody who claims that Trump deported less people than Obama, and that turned out to be true, which is really interesting then. So, like, how are you supposed to vote for these people? How are you supposed to know what they're going to do? Like, you can't. Trump says he's going to deport them all, <laughs> and he's going to build a wall. He does neither of them, and in fact, the people who say they're not going to do that deport more of them. So what the fuck, like... That's honestly the thing I hate about politics the most, because, like, I feel like everyone always says you have to vote, and I can just say, no, I do vote, but, like, because otherwise, you know, you're not helping, and, uh, you know, you're the reason that I, bad I, people get in power, but at the same time, like, I vote for someone, and they literally do nothing of what they said they're going to do, they do some other crazy stuff which makes everything worse, and then that's my fault, because I helped them get to power, it's, yeah. Here, here's, yeah. here's a more, you know, moderate hot take that I can make. You know, let's not even talk about getting rid of capitalism or any of that shit. No. We, we need to just totally reform this election process in, in yeah. the U.S. Like, things need to be ranked choice voting and proportional to population so that every political opinion can get a say if it gets enough votes. Uh, or it gets a say proportional to the amount of pop of support that it has. That would make this so much easier. It would make the country so less dependent on this Republican Democrat divide that doesn't exist at all. Um, it it would just be so much better. Um, and of course, of course, they're never going to do that because it's not in their interest to do it. But I mean, Pasta, I did the math and. Uh... Even if Trump wins Georgia, North Carolina, uh, Pennsylvania, and Alaska, he will get uh, 268 votes. But if Biden wins uh, Nevada and Michigan, he will get 270. Yeah, I already knew that. Fun fact, Florida means land of the flowers in Spanish. Just a, a, a fun fact. Yeah. So it's going to if if uh, Trump could lose with only two points, so it's like really close. Trump. I like Trump. Trump is fat. That, that. But, <laughs> but yet again, uh, Nevada is only in seventy five percent, and uh, like uh, they're still really close. So if Trump win, like Nevada, pretty much. Uh, but Salio, like, I still don't understand why you you support Trump. Like, I'm so confused. I I, I really want to hear it. I can't bring any uh, examples right now. Mm, he just does because he does, Cram. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter, uh, like how. Like, I'm not the citizen of USA, so. I could just, you know, well, you're think a whatever citizen I want. of the earth, and the USA is one of the most powerful countries on the earth. So, like, like, believe it or not, like, it actually affects like Europe economy and how, what, what, like, who rules in the United States? Yeah, Biden will like, create. Be, Biden will create better relations with foreign powers, thus improving their well-being as well. Um, I think that's pretty clear for everybody to see. So. Oh, I agree. He may he may still kill more foreigners, but I mean that's they all do that. Yeah, it's going to be a freaky close call, to be honest. Like Jesus Christ. No, but like if they if they if they change like the electoral system, like it would be cool to see like new ideas outside of the Democrat Republic. Yeah. Pasta, the, the, 
the only event where I also have been like on the edge of my seat and like who's going to win is when I have watched Eurovision. <laughs> and my mom said that people who watch Eurovision, like the, the people who are at the event are, there's a lot of like, you know, gay people. That that was going to say if you watch Eurovision is like you're probably gay. Like I have bad news for you, but yeah, look you like Dick if you like Eurovision. Mm. Sorry. How was that bad news? <laughs> yeah, no no, news. sorry, sorry, bad news. You will not have kids, sorry. You will that's all. you will be oppressed now, sorry. Yeah, I can. Oh that's shit. Right. Joe Biden is two two hundred and sixty four. Oh shit. So yeah. Wait, Last they time. they just they just uh, submitted Michigan? Uh, Michigan. Yeah, Biden won in Michigan. It's not saying that on my fucking page. I'm looking at Fox News. <laughs> All right, fuck. You're right. Let me look at this. Holy shit! I mean, Michigan already called a while ago, so I don't know what the fuck. Okay, Nevada will be the one who dictates. Because... Oh no, wait. Who's ninety nine percent? Maybe okay, ninety four. North Carolina is going to go for Trump, probably. Georgia as well to Trump. Alaska, for sure, Trump. So Nevada is going to dictate what's going to happen. I'm like a, I'm like a banker who's like, ah, oh, the the stocks will they come down or will they will they explode or something? Like you're that. you're a, br a, br a broker. Yeah, I feel like I am a broker. Yeah, a, a capitalist swine. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so exciting. But you were saying like five seconds ago that you didn't know and I don't know, I'm so confused. You confuse me. I do. Like you were saying like you don't like care enough and you really don't know that much about the United States, but now you're like super into the elections. Yeah, because it's fun to watch what's going to happen in USA. Do you I know, know it's that cool. they were gonna like there will not be like the final results until next week. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Well, but if the vote says that uh, he won, like he got so many votes. Then no, it's... but it's not no because the thing is like you what you're looking at right now are the results of the electoral college votes. There are still the mail votes that they have to count, and there is, and this year... Oh, what? They haven't been... still counted them? No, they didn't, they didn't even start. Wait, so what uh, votes are these ones, then? These are the, the ones that people go vote, like, physically. Like, they go um, to a college, and they, like, uh, okay, put... Yeah. Uh, well, in uh, Estonia... Like, like, the, the, in, the car. Estonia, in Estonia, we have, I think, two ways. You can vote at the physical place or you can vote online yeah like Estonia was like the first country to actually do that so yeah but we have this system where you have everyone has a ID card and you need to connect your ID card with your computer and there's like a uh, a system who uh, that you know uh, you have to like log into the system and then you can vote so it's not like a uh, it's not really easy to hack it, and Estonia is really strong in IT security. So, yeah, it's like they only have voted like the physical votes, they, they know how to vote like all the cards and all the everything. Mm. And they're just yeah. like, like, they have to, and this year, like, it has been the year with more like votes by email in, in by mail in in America's history, so yeah. There will yeah. be like two weeks counting that. In uh, in the last election, there was talk about maybe we should still, you know, not vote online. Like it's still like people. Uh, some people think that it still can be hacked or you know, uh, change really easily. But I don't know. Mm. Uh, let me see. Um, I think what was this building? This
Okay, so the the main office of European IT agency is in Tallinn. So the the main yeah the main office of European IT agency is in Estonia. So so that shows that that's one point that shows that Estonia is really IT connected or like really related to IT. How a cyber attack transformed Estonia. I think like Estonia, it's very epic. That's my opinion, it's just my opinion. I think. This Estonia is epic, thank you. Well, like capitalism works there, I think, or something. Like people live good there, so yeah, that's that's good. People live, yeah. But like I have like, Weird shit about like it's like the most promising country in Europe or something. Say that again. Like it's like the most promising country in Europe or something. Mm. Like, uh, guys, talk, please. Like, like, yeah, please. Um. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, Estonia is a pretty good country. Probably the one reason that I'm back. I'm sorry. Probably one reason that uh, hello we have some things hello. Good I'm sorry. In our so what, what are you guys up to in the podcast? What's 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 popping? We're talking about um, different countries. Okay. As I said, that one thing that might like might be the reason why something are good in Estonia is that we only have like 1.3 million people. Yeah, like small countries are like, yeah, doing good. Yeah, like the capital of Estonia has only 400,000 people. Like, it's so funny to think like it's it's like a like a small city in China. Like, it's crazy to think. Like, yeah. Hmm? We should end this. Why? Yeah, it's been close to an hour anyways. Oh, uh, okay. Because... Yeah. Uh, did the, did the, your, your jokes uh, cast ha have like this... Uh, uh, this interview thing as well? Where you bring people or did you was it done only on your channel pasta the interviewing cbvp players um no that was on uh nagel nagel's channel mc sapper yeah but you you interviewed lord one as well or you had like no, this I I, uh, I, huh? I I may have no i didn't actually i don't think i did mm. I just I just want to make guess for more more known. I just want the like a you know SFR to be in the history books and your channel is kind of part of the Simpy history, so Oh epic, eh? That's that's a gamer thing. That's a gamer thing, I think. Yeah. It's crazy right. that... Um, oh, everyone just muted themselves. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, Michigan still wasn't called anyway, so... That's weird on Google. Uh, yeah, but Google might be 
too slow for it. Mm -hmm. Just look in Fox. The thing I uh, I was grossed uh, out about was uh, when I watched Kamala Harris and uh, Mike Pence's uh, debate. Kamala Kamala Harris was like, "I'm speaking, I'm speaking." Like this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, how do you call it? Like like a Karen type of acting or like. Like, shush up, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Well, I don't really care about that. The debates were a farce. In to be opinion. honest, the, the, the debates uh, with Mike Pence and Kabbalah Harris were even, like, in my opinion, even uh, more uh, informational than the debates with uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, that's probably true, but... Yeah, like the Mike Pence, in my opinion, should be like the president and Kamala Harris. Oh like, no, no, dude, you don't know. No, but I don't. So he, he's he's very articulate, but he's he, he's, he's he has really, crazy ideas. Like, he seems really professional. Like he, like he, he's a he's an evangelical Christian, so. It, yeah, you, and you don't really have those in Estonia, so. Mm -hmm. No, in Estonia they have Estonians. <laughs> Estonians. Stoners. Hey guys, how are, are you like doing the no the no not November thing? No. So no. Anyone that does that has, it needs to like fucking. Stop, like, what's that? You? you don't know what oh, the end of November is? Is it like you don't check off in the month of November? Yeah, yes, uh, basically. You cannot, not it's, it's a very gamer stuff. Why would you like, uh, because like, it's three and share... it's funny, haha. <laughs> Why would you share this kind of information with your friends? Like, that's weird, in my opinion. Why wouldn't you? Oh, it's weird. Like, it's your first, like we are literally your talking life. always about gay sex in the span in the in the past streams, and now we can talk about no no no. I mean, you. it's that's just memeing. Oh, <laughs> that's just memeing. Ah, uh, uh, so innocent. Saw you. I am. Uh, well, I think it's about it's been about an hour. So uh, if John Z is listening to this, I think we're gonna end this. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Let's do outro. Uh, you wanna do outro? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, goodbye, you guys, everybody. Uh, right, it's been nice knowing you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, Nebulos, and salute for joining us as a special guest. Um, for this podcast, because I, to be very honest, we were more, or less, if you guys did not join when you did, I don't think this podcast would have made it an hour. Not mm -hmm. even close. We were probably like halfway through. So, yeah. Thank you guys for um, joining in. Uh, thank you, Cram, for joining in late as usual. Hi. Appreciate, appreciate that. Um, thank you, John Z. Boy, for always being in the, in the podcast, because you seem to have a perfect track record so far. I don't think you're going to miss one yet, at least yet. Go, John C. Let me fix that. I'm just so happy to going to miss all the future podcasts uh, after this one. So, yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't want to be in them anymore. I I dislike the podcast now. Okay. Well, all that terrible disappointment. <laughs> Good, good night, viewers or listeners. Yeah. Like top guests. No. So, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I if I won't be in them anymore. But I'm definitely uh, never recording the podcast again because uh, I want to have the option to leave in the middle uh, whenever <laughs> I want. 
So uh, definitely subscribe yeah. and hit the bell like and uh, definitely give give a like or or a dislike if you didn't like this. Yeah, and also give the um give some comments down below talk that we can discuss for future. Oh yeah, 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 that would be great. Um, give some and, ideas. Yeah, yeah. And without further ado, yeah, mm -hmm. you were, no, you were, yeah, you was about to say something. And at this time, there's uh, Joe Biden has two hundred and sixty four points, and Trump has two hundred and fourteen points. Yeah, I think I think I think Biden's gonna win this. I don't see. Like it would yeah. be like that close. He only needs two seventy, so he basically got this in the bag. At this point, I, I would be very surprised if somehow Trump but, get every remaining vote to like this somehow plus this. I don't see that happening. But uh, does it like when uh, Joe Biden gets two hundred and seventy first, then Trump, then like, oh no, that's not possible. Yeah. Okay, I'm just I'm just ending the ending yeah, the right. podcast. If you guys enjoyed, do all cool YouTube stuff. Goodbye.